Hi, I'm Deborah Klein, Registered Dietitian and Health Director with Organic Liaison. Here's my dietitian video blog, week number 28. My topic is, say yes or no to dairy. What do you think? A lot of people think in terms of bone integrity, improving their bone health, reducing risk for fractures, they need to eat dairy. But in actuality, to help our bone integrity, it's better to eat vegetarian protein sources because when you eat an animal protein, such as dairy, there's more nitrogen in it, more nitrogenous waste. More nitrogen, there's actually an inverse relationship. We increase our nitrogen, we increase our calcium lost in the urine. So we don't want to be doing that. It's actually better to have, in terms of our calcium absorption, to have more vegetarian sources. So green leafy vegetables, the kale, the collard greens, the mustard greens, bok choy, broccoli, almonds, Brazil nuts, sesame seeds, ground flaxseed, cooked rhubarb, amazing source of calcium. There's actually 348 milligrams of calcium in a cup of cooked rhubarb. So get some rhubarb in you. And canned salmon, canned sardines, those are better sources for our calcium. So actually to improve your bone health, you want to eat a more vegetarian-based diet. Baked beans, also a good source of calcium. And you want to have magnesium and vitamin D. That's actually what's helping out in terms of reducing risk for fractures. Having the calcium as a supplement definitely is beneficial. And by the way, we can only absorb about 500 milligrams of calcium at a time. And calcium citrate malate, that's the most highly absorbed form of calcium. And we have a good calcium in organic liaison, the release meat. It's a great source of calcium. And also the vitamin D. We have that at organic liaison, the vitamin D3, 2000 IU of vitamin D. You want to make sure you have vitamin D with some dietary fat in order for it to get absorbed. So have it with a little avocado, a little hummus, a little bit of nuts. That's how you can get your vitamin D absorbed. So you want to have calcium supplement. You can only absorb about 500 milligrams at a time. And I don't recommend those 1,300, 1,500 milligrams of calcium in terms of supplementation. Excess calcium supplementation can actually increase our risk for stroke. So separate out your calcium and have about 500 milligrams at a time. And I don't recommend supplementing more than 1,000 milligrams. So 500 twice a day. It's good to have your calcium right before you go to sleep because our bone growth occurs while we're sleeping. And eat calcium sources that are more vegetarian. The dairy isn't helping us out. If you do want to eat some dairy, it's better to have the fermented dairy. So yogurt has those life cultures in it, those probiotics. You can get the inulin, the yogurt with inulin too, those the prebiotics. It helps your body naturally generate good bacteria. And kefir is great, some organic kefir drink. So the fermented forms of dairy are better, and there's even yogurt cheese that's delicious. The yogurt cheese is, doesn't have the lactose, so it's easier to digest. And you want to have green leafy vegetables, almonds, like I said, all those other vegetarian-based sources to get your calcium rather than the dairy. Right? Cheering you on for optimal bone health and living younger longer. All the best.